In this video, I will show you how to install official Windows 11 ARM64 Desktop Edition on Apple Silicon Macs including M1, M2, M3, and M4 using VirtualBox. Recently, Oracle has released a new version of VirtualBox that allows running Windows 11 smoothly. With VirtualBox 7.2.2 or later, you can easily run Windows 11 inside a virtual machine on any Apple Silicon Mac. For demonstration purposes, I used a MacBook Air with M4 chip in this video. The procedure is the same for any Apple Silicon Mac. To install Windows 11 on Apple Silicon Mac, you must reserve a free space of at least 60 GB or more. Then open your web browser and navigate to this link. Scroll down a bit and click the button to download the Windows 11 ARM64 ISO file. Next, visit the second link and download the virtual box for Apple Silicon Host. Once all the downloads are complete, place the files to an easily accessible location on your Mac for convenience. Then double tap the VirtualBox DMG file and double tap the PKG icon to install VirtualBox. Now once it's done, open VirtualBox from the App Folder or Launchpad. Now this is the main interface of the VirtualBox. As you can see, we are running the latest version. Now let's start by creating a brand new virtual machine for Windows 11. To begin, click the New button. Enter a name for the virtual machine. This is the folder location where all the VM files are stored. Next, select the OS type as Windows and the version as Windows 11 ARM 64 bit. Then click on Virtual Hardware. Allocate at least 4 GB of RAM and 4 CPU cores or keep the default settings. If your Mac has more system resources, assigning more RAM and CPU cores will improve the performance. In my case, on my M4 Air, I'm using 8GB of RAM and 5 CPU cores and make sure EFI is enabled. After that, click on Specify Hardware and assign storage space to the virtual machine. A minimum of 64GB is recommended. And that's it. Click Finish and your VM will be created. Now select the VM and click on Settings, then switch to Expert Mode and choose General Settings. Under Features, set Shared Clipboard to Bidirectional to enable clipboard sharing between Windows 11 and Mac OS. I won't enable drag and drop, so I will leave it disabled. Next, select the Display from the sidebar and increase the video memory to maximum. Disable 3D acceleration as it may not work properly. Now go to storage in the sidebar under the IDE controller, click empty, then select the DVD icon and choose a disk file and import the Windows 11 ARM64 ISO file. Now let's configure network. You can use the default NAT. And that's it, we have configured the virtual machine. It's time to start the VM. Go ahead and click the Start button to begin installation. You may see pop-ups asking for system permissions. Just click inside the VM and you will be prompted with a message saying, 
press any key to boot, but simply press return or spacebar to start the Windows setup. If you miss it and end up seeing black screen, simply reset the virtual machine. Before installing Windows 11, we need to grant the system permissions for the virtual box and virtual machine to run properly. Open system settings and enable the required permissions. Now once it's done, reset the VM to apply the permissions. Again, click inside the VM and press any key when you see the boot message. Now keep in mind, when you click inside the virtual machine, the cursor is captured by the guest OS. To release it, press the left command key on your keyboard to regain the control on the host OS. You will now see the Windows 11 install screen. Now let's increase the VM window size. To do this, click on View and enable Scaled Mode. Now you can freely resize the VM window. Now follow the on-screen instructions to install Windows 11. If you have a license key, you can enter it to activate Windows 11. After installation, the virtual machine will reboot into Windows 11. Now from the menu bar, go to Optical Drives and unmount the Windows 11 ISO file by clicking on it. Your VM should now boot into Windows 11 welcome screen. Now go ahead and choose your country and keyboard layout. Now Windows 11 will start checking for updates and then prompt you to sign in with a Microsoft account. If you prefer to create online account, you can choose that option. But if you want to create offline account, hold function plus shift and press F10 to open command prompt. If it doesn't appear, press Alt plus Tab and look for the command prompt and switch to it. Then type this command and press Enter. This lets you skip the online account setup and create a local user account instead. Now simply enter the username and password, then press the tab key to scroll through the privacy questions. Again, press the tab key to highlight the next button and click it. Finally, configure your privacy settings and complete the setup. Now let's install VirtualBox Guest Edition to enable features like full screen, clipboard sharing, and more functionalities. Now from the menu bar, go to Devices, 
and select insert guest additions cd image once it's mounted open the file manager click on the cd drop from the sidebar locate the virtualbox arm64 exe file then double tap to begin the installation And that's it, guest edition support has been added to your virtual machine. Then turn off the scaled mode from the menu bar and restart the VM to apply these changes. Then log into Windows 11 with your password. Next, switch to full screen mode to verify that auto resize is working correctly. If you notice the screen resolution seems a bit weird, let's fix that. Open Settings, System Display in Windows, and set the scale value to 200% for best clarity. Now the UI elements and the text should be crisp and clear. Now go ahead and open Control Panel and search for Power Options. Then create a new power plan with high performance mode to improve the speed of your virtual machine. When it comes to performance, VirtualBox on Apple Silicon has improved a lot and you should have no issues running Windows 11 inside a VM. Unfortunately, GPU acceleration doesn't work as intended. However, the UI feels very smooth on my M4 Mac. Now for tasks like browsing, document editing, coding, and web development, VirtualBox provides excellent experience even for average users. I also tried Visual Studio and it works perfectly. As a bonus part of the video, in case you decide you don't want Windows 11 anymore, you can easily remove it. The first, turn off the VM. Then in the VirtualBox main user interface, right-click on the VM, select Remove and choose to delete the virtual machine files and hard disk. And that's pretty much it. This is how you can install Windows 11 on Apple Silicon using VirtualBox. Let me know what do you think about this. If you have any questions or queries, do post them in the comment section down below. Thank you so much for watching. This has been KSK Ryle. I will see you in the next one.